It's my feel good breakfast show. But now it's time to, for, for us to switch gears as we look at nurturing your spirit, your soul. A question I think that we don't ask often enough about taking care of the inside and what really, really matters at the end of the day. And in fact, if you find yourself in that kind of position and you're asking these kind of questions, you'll be glad to know that international author and teacher Diana Cooper is not just in studio, she's in South Africa here to teach uh, people out there. And of course, you might know her as the author of more than 27 books translated into 27 languages. And she's also number 32 on the Watkins Magazine annual list of the most spiritually influential people in the world. So great to welcome her to Cape Town. Thank you very much for being here with us this morning. Thank you. Delighted to be here. Now take us through the journey of how you got to become this very spiritually influential person in the world because you, you okay. went through quite a rough patch <laughs> at the age of 42 I understand. I did. I had no spiritual, no psychic, no religious background and yet when I was going through divorce I was absolute rock bottom. I said if there's anything out there show me yeah. and you've got one hour. Mm. And this angel came in and literally held out its hand, took me out of my body, and we flew on a journey. And it showed me myself flying over this hall full of people with rainbow auras. I looked down and I said, am I down there in the audience? The angel said, no, you're on the platform. You're to be a spiritual teacher. Wow, I knew nothing whatever about it. Mm -hmm. Brought me back exactly one hour later, and it changed my life because I set off on a seek and search and started to work with healing and spirit and uh, eventually worked with angels. And they came back 10 years later and said, and now we want you to tell people about angels. Again, I said, whoa, no way, thank you. And they said, well, who's doing your work? Is it your ego or your higher self? And I said, great, okay, I'll do it. And they gave me information. It's amazing because you have a voice and, and people listen. I, you, I also learned recently uh, that Diana went skydiving for her 75th birthday. So <laughs> happy birthday. Wow. But <laughs> you're you. on the show and, and immediately want to ask the question, when do you turn to spirituality? For most people, it's different things. Some people even say that one would want to shy away from spirituality if there's a difficult thing in your life, uh, the loss of a child, divorce. Uh, when is the key or best time to turn to spirituality? All the time. A lot of my work is helping people to connect with the angels, the archangels, the higher spiritual forces, so that they don't have to go through the difficult things without understanding. For example, it's very hard for someone to understand that if their child dies, they say, well, where was their guardian angel when my child mm -hmm. died? And it was the time for that child to go and the guardian angel was holding their hand and helping them to pass over. And perhaps your book can help people uh, better understand this concept of guardian angels. It's called Archangel Guide to Ascension. Tell us a bit about the book and the message that's within it. Well, this is a very special book because it's all fifth dimensional. In other words, it's very high frequency. There isn't one single negative word in it. So it holds you in a high frequency. It also has flashes and uh, it's of seventh dimensional energy in it. So as you read it, you're automatically connecting to the angels and they can connect to you because your energy is high enough. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking that there might be people at home right now that are listening to this and not even have an idea of what a first dimensional, second dimensional... Of course dimensional, there are. Of course there are. How do you begin to grasp that in yeah. order to understand For what 10, this book... For 10,000 years, people have been working in the third dimension, which is where you're thinking about self. When you move into the fifth dimension, you're trying to help the entire planet, you're cooperating with others, you're living a life in happiness and joy. It changes the whole way you are and the way you behave. It's time to bring the entire planet into that state. In 2012, there was what's known as the cosmic moment. And source energy, the energy of God, whatever you like to call it, touched the heart of every sentient being for a fraction of a second and it enabled them to open up. And that meant that there could be a huge shift. Have you not noticed a shift throughout the entire world has started? We have 20 years to move into a higher frequency and the whole planet must do this. And because this is such an awesome thing that's happening on Earth, beings from all over the universes are watching us and trying to help us. And 
in this book, we're bringing through some of those energies to touch people as they connect with the book so that they can do this more easily. Thank you for being in our studio. She's so calm. My word. <laughs> you cool. That's incredible. <laughs> I, I am Thanks calm for joining as well. us this morning. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, Diana will be sharing some of her knowledge uh, while she is in Cape Town. We'll give you those details on our Expresso Morning Show SABC3 Facebook page. Right now, let's find out what else is coming up.